G'day mate, welcome back to Oxygen Included with me, Jetty, and the wonderful team of duplicates I have with me today, and today we have many projects, projects to get through once again. First off, we have our oil biome. Our oil biome is doing well, we've got a heap of oil, that's excellent. Uh, we have all three pumps all done, all the powers hooked up, all the plumbing's hooked up, all the gas pipes hooked up, but... Um, if we look down here, we already have 19.8 kilograms worth of gas. Uh, these atmosphere sensors are set to go off at 20 kilograms. Uh, which means I need to do something about this problem more like now rather than later. So, uh, we have already run a gas pipe all the way up here, all the way up here. Turns out all, one of the gas pipes has already been running for a little bit and all the way up to about here. I need to have some way of disposing of that gas. Best way to dispose of that gas is in the, well, food, into the gas range, which we do wouldn't need to do this episode, but I also need to do power and natural gas generator. Natural gas generators, they're awesome. They consume, oh God, printer. Okay, printer, fine, we're gonna pay attention to you. Whew. Okay, two duplicates to pick from. We have a Travoldo and we have a Lindsay. Travoldo has building operating, so he could be a Metatronics engineer. Uh, Lindsay has supplying and rocketry and building. So you could be a builder, but I prefer a Metatronics engineer who can build. So we're going to bring in Techinator. Thank you for being a lovely supporter of the channel. Welcome to the colony. Uh, splat! Thank you for being a patron supporter. Like I said, thank you for smashing your face on the ground. You can join the colony as advanced research. Uh, yeah, we, we might as well put you straight into research. We might have you start learning things at least. Obviously, we're going to put you in a Metatronics engineering. Well, Exosuit? Probably Metatronics, then Exosuit, then building. But to start with, you could just get research and then we'll probably start going to start still skill scrubbing dupes. Uh, priorities for you, in theory, building. Uh, building and operating. Yeah, that's probably the safest things for you. Okay, so uh, oil, like I said, oil, 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 oil. We need to dispose of oil into a natural gas generator. Now, natural gas generators, they take in natural gas. That's great. That's, that's exactly what we want. They also output polluted water and carbon dioxide. Now, carbon dioxide is fine. It can go straight down to slick, slick, slicksters. Polluted water is actually something we need because uh, our oxygen is getting a little bit low. Our oxygen is getting a little bit low because... We have a significant amount going to Atmos suits. Uh, and this slash geyser is actually turned off. Uh, speaking of this slash geyser turning off, we have got all the plumbing done. Let's deconstruct that tile. We did get all the plumbing done. In fact, we actually have some uh, liquid running through the loop right now, which is pulling out some of the heat. Um, not a lot of the heat, but some of the heat. Uh, hang on. That one. Zoom out. So, we are hopefully pulling out some of the heat. Uh, if I remove that one tile there, that should make a giant pool of liquid fall down, which should turn on that hydro sensor, which should start dumping liquid everywhere. I also need to set that to max for a whole separate issue. Uh, dupes are in here building this. Excellent. Can I build a... No, that's good. Okay. Uh, so, first thing is, natural gas generators. Natural gas generators. Okay. They are going to need uh, power, 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 natural gas generators. They also make heat. They make 10, uh, 10 kdTUs of heat, which means we need to find somewhere to cool them. So I am going to have to, again, in power, we're going to have to put a steam turbine somewhere. We're going to have to put an aqua tuner right below it. We're going to have to... Eh, we're going to have to use the aqua tuner, which is basically a heat pump, to make cold liquid to cool down our natural gas generators to then bring the bring the the not cool that it's making, i.e. heat, to exactly where it is, to boil steam, to run it into a steam generator, to destroy the heat. I hope that all makes sense, but that's going to be our plan. Now, we're going to need to do a few things. Uh, first off, we're just going to start with natural gas generators and... I am going to build a room to put them in. 
Now, room-wise, uh, stations. We also have a power control station. Power control, control station will tune up our uh, lovely machines and make them more efficient. So we're definitely going to put one, put one of those in. At the same time, we're going to need a heavy one, giant plate. This doesn't need to be a priority nine job, but okay, dupes. Uh, we're going to hook in a bit of wire there. We're going to put a roof on this room. Uh, and inside a tile there. Door here. Inside a tile there. And room wise, uh, generators can be in a power plant. Power plant can be up to 96 tiles in size. So we have eight tiles right here and then the room goes to three tiles high and uh 96 minus 8 is 86 84 about there so i need to end the room about here somewhere now the other thing i need for all my natural gas generators i want to make them out of gold obviously because it has a plus 50 degrees overheat temperature and we're just going to plug them along, well, here-ish. Uh, deconstruct. God, if you guys... No, you can, do, you can build that from the inside. Uh, remove that. Okay, so it also means uh, base, mesh tiles. I need to put some tiles under it. Because the other thing these guys do is they dump out polluted water. And they dump out polluted water right here, which we're going to drop under the ground, run over here, and put into a pump. Hopefully, hopefully. Uh, what did I say? 80, 84, 86 tiles. So about here somewhere. Uh, 84 plus four is too many tiles. Yeah, so I'm gonna have to put the pump in a separate room. You and you. Plumbing, liquid pump, right there, in a separate room. Uh, okay, so that means, hang on, we'll just finish this off. Power wire comes in, runs through all those guys. We've put in power, a heavy watt conductive joint plate. That's sort of a stupid plot, spot for it, but that's where it goes. And then plumbing, liquid pipe, uh, plumbing liquid pipe that direction sure we're just going to leave actually I'm going to need one more tile which will probably simplify my plumbing setup by putting my plumbing there with a automation a hydro sensor right there Gold. Do not make the hydro sensor out of gold. Make it out of lead. I like using lead. Lead is useless. Uh, and it comes pre-smelted. Uh, automation. Uh, automation wire out of lead. Into there. Hydro sensor. There. And plumbing. Plug that into there. And power. Cancel that wire. Okay. So that solves that problem. If I give duplicates access. You're really going all oh, good. Whatever, tubes. Whatever, tubes. All right. So that is going to be our power control station, and we're going to feed. Uh, now this is brilliant. It has two gas inputs. It has a. That's the output pipe. That's all wrong, Jedi. Uh, has two gas. One is for uh, the natural gas in, and the other one's for the carbon dioxide out. So we're going to plug all those in. Uh, at the same time, the natural gas out. So if I was to take a gas pipe and I was to run it through all those outputs, it'll break. Okay, because everyone will detect that there's a little bit of gas pipe, gas in the pipe, and it'll say, hey, pipe's blocked, I'm not going to work. But if we do a gas bridge uh, like that, and like that, and like that, and like 
that, and that, and that, and that. That'll let the gas, uh, the gas jump over the the other guy's output slot, and then it will work fine. Now, with all that done, we're going to take this gas pipe, which is going to have natural gas in it, and I want to bring it into here, which means we need to bring you up. Uh, let's just do that again into actually let's bring it through the floor here uh, and then jump it over there and then in the wall there cool we shall call that our natural gas so when that finally hooks up you're gonna be set you're gonna be happy oh my god there's a okay there's a full-blown slug in there Okay, it's fine. It's fine. It just adds flavor to the kitchen. All right. Uh, the lovely machine is going to be set to use cobalt only because why not? Uh, cobalt is free. Wrong button. I want to set you to open. Uh, cobalt's free. It comes out of the volcanoes. Speaking of volcanoes, uh, actually, that's our third job. Second job is going to be uh, I want to get to space. Now, to get to space, we want to have a water lock. Uh, so it means I want to put in a bottle emptier here and here. I also want, this is very, very important when first going to space, a pneumatic door, okay? The door is not to stop the dupes coming in and out. The door is to stop the freaking critters coming in and out. Uh, we want to dig out that tile, that tile, that tile, that tile, that. All right. Uh, and we're going to set this to a high priority because this is sort of important. Uh, once we get to space, we're only going to have like one, maybe two dupes digging and building at the same time. So I'd sort of like to get it set up. Same time, we need to take some power cables up here because we're going to be getting this solar. Uh, actually, I need to have a heavy watt joint plate in there and plug that into there. In fact, don't dig that side out. Yeah, just get the heavy watt cable in, get this dug. That way we can set up some auto bottlers, bottlers to dump oil into these tiles and it should be good. Alright, third project. Third project, actually third project for this episode is going to be plastic ladders. Uh, because now we have access to plastic from there to there. We did have eight tons, we now have five tons. Uh, do I want to... Oh, hang on. Sweet. Give it that tile. Do I want... Okay, we'll put plastic ladders in there. And we'll put scrolling. Excellent. Put plastic ladders in there. Why are people going this way? I have no idea. Ah, uh, yes, yeah, Saran. You, 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 you're trying to demonstrate what we do. The other, the other project for this episode. So the other project for this episode is this cobalt, cobalt volcano. It be warm. Uh, as Saran can attest. So, first thing I want to do is I want to put in a medical bed. Medical hospital. Hospital requires a toilet, a mess table, and medical equipment. So, we're going to start with a table. Uh, like so. A toilet, toilet, toilet. A plumbing, a toilet. Like so. Only the highest quality is for my dupes. And... Uh, Medical, some triage cots, uh, all of them. Uh, can I? Yeah, can we just get this done? I'd like the the toilet's the most important thing, really, really. It's super important. There we go, almost done. Okay, so whilst that's building, we can go check on this. This is done. Excellent. First thing we want to do is disable that toilet. Because I don't want dupes using it. Uh, next thing we want to do is crude oil, priority 9, enable auto bottling, copy paste. Uh, I'm going to click on the errands. I'm going to wait a second because I want to see the oil arrive in this tile. It's sort of important. Uh, if I forget about it, we're going to have dupes bringing oil to the top of the map, it flowing over our liquid lock and all the way back through gravity to the bottom of the map. So I want to just make sure that you are now set to sweep only. What? 14 kilograms. Try again. Scaldy. Oh, that's a whole separate issue. Why is it scaldy? Uh, it's scaldy because we're just running a glass forge non-stop. 
Well, we have liquid here at least. Uh, so that should hopefully bring down the temperature. Hopefully. Are you? This is why the dupes are here all the time because you do not have a storage bin and shipping auto super out of cobalt. So it can be done automatically. We have dupes putting sand in this machine all the time. No wonder! Okay, where are we up to with this? Uh, 12 kilograms. Alright, we're still waiting. Still waiting. Uh, pretty one. Can somebody just... Yeah, there we go. Alright, so we just need this... Like, it, it has... 113 kilos. Which is probably enough. Oh no, it's definitely not enough. The crude oil just froze. Yeah. That's solid crude oil. This is why we need a little bit more thermal mass than just 300 grams. Because uh, it'd be cold up here. And then it just defrosted. Yeah. 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 Uh, Alright. So we just need Andrew and Machete to bring this up. And then we can go on with our third job this episode. Third job? Fourth job? How many we're up to? Alright, so we have Andrew here. He should be putting 200 kilograms worth of oil into that machine. If we set it to sweep only, it means no more should show up. And then we're just waiting on... Uh, it's now lions because people are quitting on their job. And getting halfway up the map and then going for lunch. That's not lions. Uh... No idea where Lions is. Uh, yeah, halfway up the map. Halfway up the map and then quitting for lunch. Hence the oil keeps getting dropped down here. And I, I don't see a pile of oil down here. I'm shocked, actually. Uh, most of that gas pipe's built. Most of that gas pipe's built. Uh, construction, 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 errand, delivery. Okay, and was that Lions? That's Lion still making his way up to the map slowly. Very slowly. Come on, Lion, so you can do it. Alright, so Lions puts another 200 kilograms in there. We set that to sweep only. As soon as it's finished emptying, we can actually turn that off. And turn that off. So, with that done. Next thing we want to do is we want to actually dig for space. So that means we dig up here. We want probably... Actually, I really want that tile done. Let me just get that one tile done before we go any further. And... Dig from there to there. Dig a nice wide path. Probably seven. All of that. And we'll just leave that to be done. Okay. Okay. Third project. Third project. Uh, let's dig that out. Okay, actually, let's look at our cooling loop. Cooling loop has liquid all the way through it. So, liquid comes in at 25, uh, goes up to the Mealwood farm, comes out at 25.4 to 25.7. So, it doesn't grab a lot of heat. Uh, then comes into our transformer block, right here. Uh, goes in at 25.9, so it's grabbed a little bit more temperature. Comes out at 26.2, so a little bit more temperature grabbed. Comes down here at 26.8, goes through these machines and comes out at 26.8. That's not bad. That should cool these down. Uh, 43 is a little bit warm. Uh, and then comes into the kitchen at 29.1, so it's, it's heated up another little bit. Uh, goes out at 29.5-ish. Uh, comes in here 29.9, so we've grabbed a, removed a little bit more heat from there to there. Runs through our Weezwort farm that we were using to make radiation, and actually loses half a degree. Uh, goes through the power plant, the very, very toasty power plant, and comes out the other side 29.3, 31, 31. So grabs a fair bit of temperature from there. 
goes through the glass forge and grabs another half a degree's worth. Uh, but definitely brings the glass forge under control. And then heads up the right side of the base, uh, left side of the base, which doesn't have a lot of heat in it. And then finally returns out here, where we're actually running into the metal refinery as fast as possible. Because, uh, actually I'm out of iron. Uh, can you make like 30 bits of iron, please? Uh, I, I, I desperately need um, more steel. A lot more steel. Like, all the steel. Uh, iron ore. That's a lot of iron. Sure. Can I set you to probably six and suddenly actually bring some lime over here? What's the story of lime? Oh, that's a probably four. Fossil, table salt. That's a lot of fossil. Uh, set you to probably two. And that way they should move it from one side to the other. Uh, let's go with probably four. Because I don't really want it to fill up with iron. Oh, crap. How are we off for... Refined carbon. Uh, 60 kilograms. Uh, I would like 30 passes of that too, please. Okay, so we need to make more steel uh, because we need to start using steel to do lots of steely things. Uh, all right, first thing is we have a cobalt vo volcano over here. Cobalt volcanoes produce a crap ton of heat when they drop. Uh, cobalt on the ground. Now, it's not dormant for another 30 cycles. Ideally, I should wait 30 cycles before we start playing with this, but um, we, we, we've got a bunch of really happy expendables here, so we're just going to expend some expendables. Uh, first thing we're going to do is we're going to grab some insulated tiles. Uh, we're, actually, first thing we're going to do is we're going to put a liquid vent right there. Then we're going to put some insulated tiles on top. Uh, not that tile. Uh, we're going to to deconstruct all of those uh, and we're going to go power a steam turbine made out of cobalt because it's right below us we want one two three steam turbines is that right one two two three that is right and our plan Maybe not that, that tile just yet. Our plan is to uh, surround this in with a whole bunch of uh, steam turbines that we're hoping we can convince them to self-cool. Uh, hoping is the correct word. I actually have no idea. Cobalt volcanoes are completely new to me. And hoping that once they're self-cooled, uh, we can then draw the power out of the cobalt volcano and get some free power at the same time And this is what makes this uh, most brilliant plan of mine uh, the best Is uh, we should be able to cool the cobalt down a, a, a amount not a heap just just a amount uh, Before kicking out so it should give us free power uh, plus slightly cooler cobalt and also means dupes stay out of the hell out of this area so they stop getting burnt. Hence, we built in a room, a hospital, because uh, I'm expecting some toasty dupes this episode. Uh, okay, so with my hospital and everything else, I'm going to need some conductive wire out of cobalt. Uh, we're going to assume that we're going to run along there. We're going to need shipping. I'm going to need auto sweeper. Uh, actually, I'm going to want auto sweeper here out of steel. Because steel's good up to 275 degrees. Do I want it on the ground or do I want it up in the air? <sighs> let's put it up in the air and let's put the conveyor loader as far away as possible. Uh, okay, so we're gonna. No, I'm gonna run everything through the wall. Yes. Okay, and then shipping wise, I'm gonna need some conveyor rails. And I love this. I love this. Uh, the very thing I'd love now, love to do right about now, would be to detect the temperature of the crap on the rails 
before I could get out. But that requires orbital research, which I don't have. Uh, so we're going to go with plan B, which is hope for the best. Uh, so we're going to go with shipping, conveyor rail out of steel. Uh, if we look at steel really quick, properties, it does not melt to 2,400 degrees. Uh, this kicks out at cobalt volcano. Uh, cobalt at 2,200 degrees. So, we're, 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 we've got about, you know, 200 degrees headroom. Uh, it should be fine. Uh, we're going to run the cobalt like that. It should be enough just to, like, keep it in the... Mm, actually... Maybe... We, yeah, let's run it like that. Okay, and a conveyor shoot here. Because technically the dupes can't reach the roof. Uh, speaking of not being able to reach the roof, buildings, remove that, yes, okay, priorities, I need to, oh, I need to build all of that first, yeah, because the dupes can't reach the top tile, yeah, okay, so we need to build this in like a particular order, uh, steam turbine and a cobalt there, and technically there. Uh, at the same time, we're going to insulate in the floors. Uh, we are pumping liquid in here to hopefully bring the temperature down. We are bringing it in water at like 20 odd degrees and dumping it in here and hopefully that helps. Uh, but there's a lot of hope. Uh, a lot of hope and a lot of prayer. And I also want to sweep out all the material that I'm desperately going to want because uh, whoa, it's going to get warm. Uh, let's face it, I need all the material. Well, certain materials, I need as much as I can get. Uh, it's 50 degrees, so it won't kill you. It'll scold you, almost, but it won't kill you. Uh, okay, let's just do a sweep. Already seven. That. Uh, plus that. That's a bunch of cobalt, which will my auto sweeper reach that far? Actually, I don't have to sweep anything on this side. I cancelled. Uh, sweep and mop orders. Well, it's already gone. Uh, okay, so we just need to sweep. I don't really want to sweep out the cobalt just yet. Because we're going to use most of it, I hope. Alright, so, the plan is that the dupes build this fast and they build the floor. Uh, pretty seven, that can now get done. Uh, yeah, we need, we, we, we need all of this done reasonably quickly as well. Alright, and, no, not oil, space. Okay, so that is done, it now means we can, pretty seven, dig that. Is still freezing, isn't it? Okay, we might do another round of crude oil. Uh, errands. Come on. There's not a lot I can do about the, the crude oil freezing, apart from. Uh, actually, it's 14 degrees here. Minus 30. No, I, I don't think there's much I can do about it. I was thinking I could put a temperature, temperature shift plate here. But that still won't help. Because this one is also frightfully cold. Uh, this one's okay. Because it's on an insulated tile. Alright. We'll just dump in some more hot oil and... That should hopefully solve the problem. Alright. Uh, these guys. These guys are still in the process of being built. Uh, the dupes got it in the right order at least. And didn't build the, 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 the mesh tiles in before building the proper floor. Okay. And 
Natural gas has flown up to here. And Freya is finally, finally working on the oven. Which means BTG, the backup chef, can actually do some work. Uh, BTG has all his grilling. Plus he is working on field research. Skills are... Uh, six natural and four from um, four from skills uh, compared to Fry Guy's yeah, 13 natural skill. Fry Guy is the chef. Is the chef to be all chefs. Okay. So, bottom of this looks to be done. Uh, yep. We now add in. No, we're getting these done. Okay. Priority seven that tile uh, that's done so we're going to put in that tile I can't put in this tile for the steam generator yet because we're still using that to get in and out of the room uh, obsidian sweep uh, cobalt is still waiting on some bits and pieces that tile as well because it's only that one to go uh we're gonna go all and power cable i'm also gonna run that back uh i'm gonna use cobalt for this because it's literally right there i'm just gonna make a shortcut into that power cable it okay. also means i can now dig out now we're putting those insulated tiles everything under there uh, okay, so it looks like priorities. It looks like everything is done. So it's just a matter of priority seven, all of that, uh, and that bad boy, and let's deconstruct that. Uh, I have to put a tile there. I think I could put one here as well and then get diagonal. Yeah, let's go deconstruct that, put in that, which means I can put a tile there. Auto sweeper can access everything. Uh, Prey 7, those two. Uh, power cable is priority 8 now. And we have a lot of water in here. A lot, a lot of water. Starvation. Why are you starving? So, Rand, you just forget to eat yesterday? You're not good at this whole food thing, are you? Uh, actually... Okay, so we have a lot of liquid in here. Like, a lot, a lot of liquid. So we're going to go in and we're going to deconstruct... Actually, uh, plumbing. Let's... Let's set that to zero. That way I can just bleed... Oh, actually, I don't really care if it bleeds out, do I? Ah, uh, never mind. My navy went and flicked the switch. Okay, so tubes can still get in and out. We can. I'm gonna tell them to start deconstructing. Deconstruct all of that. I think that's safe to do. I think. Uh, liquid vent can go away as well. Uh, as soon as you get power, which is like th four tiles, the auto sweeper will kick in and it should sweep out everything in here, dump the loader, which is just going to run it out of the room and drop it here. Uh, please tell me you're not submerged. You won't be submerged. I might put it Oh, 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 oh. a lot of refined cobalt at 
a ridiculous temperature. Uh, made a mess. Smack! You should probably dig your way back out. I was not watching. But this is definitely why we have this backup system for when duplicates are stupid and accidentally pee in their suits. Uh, nine seconds. Okay. Uh, Cobalt, 1600. 19. 19. The fact that you're now scolding implies that that definitely worked. Okay, cool. So if we get the hell out of this room, we can then put in two tiles like that, and that means that this is now sealed. Now, how long is it going to take to heat up all that liquid? I have no idea. Is it going to be a long time? You bet. Uh, uh, quick, sweep. That one tile. Crate one. Uh, crate one. So it's getting rid of everything before it's getting rid of the cobalt, which sort of su suits me. Uh, I need this sweat. Now. Nobody. Nobody wants to sweep it. Oh, no, Nexus is coming to grab it. Or he's grabbing the cobalt. Oh, 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 oh! Oh, crap. There was more crap there. We're grabbing the cobalt. Okay, so we're grabbing the cobalt. Is that still... Oh, that's still toasty, toasty hot. 200 degrees. Is that going to be enough to cool it down? I don't think it is. Alright. Uh, cancel those two tiles. Cancel, cancel, cancel. Alright, because I don't have advanced auto sweeper stuff, we're going to do a loop. Like so. Now I can put a shut off into the system. Which would be an option. And I could add timers and delays and have the 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 whole thing move along slowly. That is an option. Alright, what we're going to do, we're going to put that in there. We will... Shipping... Disconnect those two. Uh, automation, a bit of lead. There to there. Actually, we have a clock sensor. A cycle sensor. It says an automatic green signal, red signal, schedule one, day-night cycle. Oh, that is going to do exactly what we want now. Before you had to do all sorts of complicated things, but hopefully that solves our problem. So that is... Cobalt is definitely cooling down if it sits on the rail for long enough. And the water is probably heating up. Uh, now, I'm going to have so many mixed gases in this room with these steam turbines. I hope that doesn't come back and haunt me. I honestly have no idea. If it does, we'll just have to send a duplicate into a very, very hot steam room to... No, we'd have to drain all the liquid out. Yeah, I'd have to drain all the liquid... Oh god, there's carbon dioxide and chlorine and... Oh my gosh. Uh, yeah, we'd have to send a duplicate in, build a gas pump, pump everything out. But anytime we got steam in there, it'd condense. Oh god, it'd be a nightmare. Whatever. Uh, okay, building broken, insulated. Oh, that's right. Okay, so we have a separate problem. 
Uh, we are bringing in from this side of the base now. Uh, actually, now that that's done. Okay, now that that's done. Can I deconstruct that tile? I'll let all that liquid flow out. Yep. And at the same time, we can deconstruct that pipe. All that. All of that. All of that. Uh, automation. If I go snippy snippy, you'll stop pumping, which is perfect. Remove all of that. Actually, liquid pipe. Just run that from there to there. That way we can just empty this tank. Um, set you back to max. Alright, so we have a separate problem. Uh, we are pumping out what was 20 odd degree temperature, but because we've been running it through volcanoes and all sorts of things, it's a little bit warmer. As it's going through the base, and hopefully somewhat cooling down the base, not really. Not really. Uh, as it's going through the base and then coming over here, it's now so hot that when we run it through and make it steel, uh, oh, also this liquid's in the same story. Oh shit, it's under 50 degrees. Uh, as we're trying to make steel, uh, it's boiling in the pipe. Uh, so I need a better solution for making steel, which is on the list of things that we need to do. Uh, it sets up right here. The tubes are just going to keep fixing. Uh, how much iron do we have? We have plenty. Uh, that's turned off. It's just make steel now. Okay, so this is a solution for more liquid. More liquid equals more uh, oxygen. More oxygen is a good thing. Uh, as is that tile being done. That way we get a size read on the room. Oh. They're not hooked up to a smart battery. them there instead. Run that to there. Smart battery. And then automation. Automation wire. Add a lead all the way across the room to that tile. Battery has, yeah, it's, it's the leftmost tile. Uh, you're already set to cobalt. You should have cobalt in you. Yep. Yeah. Uh, okay, so... You're mostly tamed. Uh, helps if that gets finished off. Uh, so I've swept out everything from there. There's one bit of a light which we'll just grab whilst we're here and looking at it. Apart from that, that looks to be done. I still haven't done anything about this natural gas event, um, but we are cooking with gas, literally. Uh, also means I can now click suppress so we don't have to see those red bars anymore. And let's just click on this whilst we're here. Oh my god. You can't get a better chef than that. Not that we need one. Uh, doctoring, building, farming. We're going to bring in... Kindred. Who is a kindred spirit. Uh, really, really likes taking care of people, being a doctor. Uh, but, but, but more than happy just to spend all day building. Uh, thank you, Kindred, for being a lovely Patreon supporter. Welcome to the colony. We're up to 33 duplicates. Oh. Oh. Uh, I apologize, uh, Kindred. Uh, and... Tekkenator. Um, I may have overlooked something small and insignificant. Uh, we have 33 duplicates. Uh, that is 8 beds. That is 16 beds. That is 24 beds. That would be 32 beds if there wasn't mealwood that we just left growing right there. Uh, we're out of beds. Have been for a while. Uh, so we're going to very quickly just throw some doors in there with uh, 3 beds. And that solves the problem for right now, sort of. Okay, so... Also means with that done, uh, I can get the internal digging team. Uh, I'm going to go with a priority four uh, to build some ladders across here, here, and here. 
also after we work out what seven tiles is and four tiles down to the top that's a tile low but that's all the room we need we're gonna ooh, we're gonna misclick everything uh we're going to have a priority what was it four for ladders so a priority three dig of everything there uh plus everything here uh plus everything here because i noticed there was a little bit of copper in here and i'm out of non-refined metal uh okay so with those blocks removed you don't need power do you please tell me you don't need power you do need power but it's all right we've built a power line that happens to be in the right time Okay, right, so with those blocks removed, that bit of automation just has to go in. Uh, it is hooked up to power. Not that it's in the correct power grid. Oh, I do have heavy. Why is that? Why is that a different color? All the other ones are white, except for that one. Okay. Uh, there's a door in the way, Jay. Uh, can I place that? No. Alright, so we're gonna bring out. Uh, I'd have to put a joint plate here. Hmm. And still have normal power over there. Uh, okay. Whoa! Shop. That'll stop things moving. Okay, and the idea is you'll just turn on one part of the day for a little bit and dump materials out. Okay, we're done. We're going to lock that up. We're going to bring my heavy rock conductive wire, which... Uh, deconstruct power wires, deconstruct all of that plus all of that uh, can we get those tiles please uh, tile there, there, there deconstruct that yes and uh, if I can snip you apart that way I can just drag you to there bring that to there I'm going to want a itty bitty power transformer which is going to go that direct that that direction right there uh okay so that means heavy or conductive wire is going to come up and then into those cables uh that's going to get disconnected too waiting for the heavy watt wire you're going to get deconstructed, which is going to put a whole bunch of water here, which hopefully flows that way. Uh, no liquid intake. Oh, you need one pipe there. I hate that about those things. Okay, uh, it did. Perfect. Uh, remove that. Put in those joint plates that I haven't put there. And a second one there. And you'll need a tile, so we got a hospital back. And that hopefully we got teleported to there instead. I so thought you were gonna get teleported into the room. Uh, power, uh, power transformer in that orientation. Out of yeah, sure that should work. And then that should be it. And you're just going to flow the water there, which is perfect. Apart from that one, one little bit that... Okay, sure. All right, so that should fix that. That's problem one. My problem one, two, three, sorted. Uh, this should be 90, 92 tiles. So I could have come out four more tiles. One, two, three, four. Uh, pump one, two, three, four. Yeah, I could have put the pump in the room technically. 
but then I couldn't put the hydro sensor. So we're gonna go with that. Uh, we're gonna set you above 100 kilograms, so that way there's actually something in there for you to pump. Uh, we need a power, a battery, smart battery, cobalt, right there. Uh, boop, 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 boop. You've made some microchips which we can put into these machines. Engines tuned up. And time of mining 3.3 cycles. Does that diminish whilst you're not running? It does not. That's a good sign. Okay, and gas wise, well, there's no gas to burn now. Uh, we need 19.9, 19.8. 19.9. Actually, no. The gas needs to back up to this point. Then I'll run into you guys. Okay, so we've done lots of things. This is all mostly happy. Uh, space. Well, we've got access to. Uh, that's about it so far. We're going to go for with a... You know what? I'm just going to chop. We're just going to dig through space. Uh, I want to get to the left hand side of the map first, probably, so we can start planning out solar panels from the left to the right. Uh, but that's going to take a minute or two to do. That's going to be done. That's going to be done. If this works, which as far as I can tell it does, we have another cobalt volcano here. Which has already heated the water up to 100 degrees. Ouch. At least down here we're in Atmo suits. Okay, uh, so we need to do the exact same thing. Uh, let me just plan this out real quick. That's job done. Uh, volcano is trapped. It is erupting in 15 seconds. Hopefully, we see some hot cobalt landing on the ground. Uh, I don't see any cobalt. I think it's too buried. Alright, uh, we're going to come along and we're going to dig out that one tile. Uh, and we're going to drain some of the water out of here. Uh, yes, and then that should be done as well. Uh, our liquid lock has obviously worked because we haven't flooded the oil biome. The oil biome is going fine, gas is being pumped out. Uh, we have a crap ton of natural gas, which is waiting on a smart battery to be built. After a smart battery has been built, we should have more power. And in space, well, we've dug a certain amount of the way. Uh, just dig that out as well. And this we want a high priority because... Actually, technically we're going to have four dupes digging at once. Realistically, it's never normally four, but you know. Uh, okay, back to our cobalt volcano, because yeah, we need to drain water out of that. Because uh, it's a bit too full. Actually, do I want to... Problem is, it has steam in it already. And the last thing I want to do... Last thing I want to do is I want to get the wrong gas in here. Uh, okay. Everything's blistering hot. Actually, the temperature of this should go up. You 
interrupts in 1.2 cycles. Why are you doing the animation if you don't interrupt for 1.2 cycles? So, what we'll do is we'll get that tower anyway. We'll drain some water out. Navy, you know what? We might just have your step just here. And then have your step to just here. Hopefully that's enough. We need... Okay. Overlays... We need it to be less than two tiles. And that's at 800 kilos, so that should be less than two tiles. We should be fine. The steam pressure is still high enough that it shouldn't, shouldn't, uh, over, f uh, the, 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 the polluted water shouldn't off gas. As for our original one, it's up and tubes. Probably ate this shit. It might be the same story. Like, it has a lot of liquid in there. And a lot of polluted oxygen and all sorts of other things. Alright, we're going to wait 92 seconds and double check this one. At least it has enough metal here we can double check. Okay, so this is... Uh, 70, uh, 1275. Four. Okay, so it's definitely working. And of course, as the liquid heats up, the temperature is going to get uh, the the the. Well, there we go. We're already converting some to steam. It's converting back instantly because, well, yeah, we got a couple of hot spots. All right. So as soon as this is built, which is hopefully soon. Uh, it can start flowing out. It also means that the uh, spicy hot cobalt will get spread out over the conveyor rails. As long as it's over the conveyor rails, uh, temperature, it will cool down a whole lot better. Uh, the only thing that won't ever transfer heat is the abyssalite. The abyssalite's always hot. The catch is, with all the construction I've done, I've actually chewed through all the steel that we had. Most of the steel that we had. Uh... Okay, so again, dig priority eight. That's the edge. Of, that looks like the edge of the map. That looks about right for the edge of the map. That also means technically we're gonna want a ladder across there. Uh, actually, do we need? In theory, because we don't have meteorites raining down on us anymore, I can build sol build solar at whatever height I, I want. I have a feeling solar is going to be our next episode. Because I think I want to go as far up the map as possible. And then build solar. Uh, at the same time, we have found a lot of regolith. I haven't found any shovel eggs yet. But they're there. They're there somewhere in this mess. There are shovels. I know there are shovels. I've seen the shovels. I've also seen the shovel meat. Yeah, they could be eggs. They could be dead shovels. They could be anything. In that regolith. Uh, okay. So yeah, we're going to go up the map. I have no idea how far up the map is. Uh, but considering that's home base, that's the bottom of the map. Top of the map's probably up here somewhere. Uh, so it's probably a little bit away. And the inside team is still digging out that. Uh, you should have power. You do have power. Excellent. Okay. So that should... 
me just give you a decent activation period. So we can see all the hot cobalt onto the belt. You can see it as it passes through the water, it's starting to cool off straight away. Sixty degrees. That's a sixty, sixty, sixty. Maybe the simple fact that it's as long as it is I mean it ha it has enough time to cool off entirely. Alert surface breach. Oh, okay. That's the surface breach. When I actually dig outside the biome. Background marker. Okay, which is full of polluted oxygen still. For reasons. Okay, and that is the left hand side of the map. Okay, so we found out where the left hand side of the map is. So we know where to start building solar. Oh my god, you guys are so big and stuff. Sorry, you just dig out that whole bio. Okay, so this episode, we've definitely tamed, that's 60 degrees, that's 60 degrees, uh, temperature overlay, Ninety degrees, 70 degrees, yeah, by the time it comes out, it's cooled down all the way anyway, okay, so, the answer is two lines. I don't know. I'm assuming. I'm just assuming. Uh, can we reach that? Unreachable build. I'm going to go with no. Uh, probably explains why it's not built. Um, yeah, I'm going to go with... Uh, I'm assuming one, three steam turbines is enough. Okay, I, I honestly have no idea. Uh, actually, I just remembered you. Uh, you, 80... 30? Okay, so as I was saying, as I was saying, um, I'm assuming three turbines is enough. It's probably overkill, but I'm, like I said, Cobalt Volcano is brand new to me. Uh, made a mess. Two of them. Well, do you have oxygen? Oh, there's both of you in the same time. Well, if you just keep digging, eventually you'll run out of things to dig and you'll fall. That's the concept. Well, not if you keep going up, Shetty. Yeah, come down. Oh, you're gonna. Oh my god, you're just gonna keep building. Alright, we should probably rescue them. Yeah, sure. Alright. Uh, so, we found space, definitely, when we broke this little part. Uh, we're still, that's, that's the edge of the map right there. We found the edge of the map on the north side. We managed to tame not one, but two cobalt volcanoes. Uh, in theory, after this heats up a few more degrees, it'll start producing power. I obviously need to probably run that for a significant amount of time. You might be different. You're probably going to do a very good job of heating everything to... Well, actually, forget it. Steam turbines are running. Perfect. Okay. And steam turbines are heating... Uh, okay, whatever. Uh, we also went and grabbed natural gas. Natural gas is now hooked up. It can now be burnt off. We're going to be burning it off for free power. Which also means, and this is the important one, now I have a lot more power to play with, we can actually put a cooling loop into the base. Uh, not relying on some dribbles of liquid every now and then from... Uh, liquid pump remove... Deconstruct... Uh, that's... no, that's not done. 
and power cable is going to be not done as well. Not relying on uh, a little bit of dribbles every now and then to slowly cool things off. We can actually go with industrial amounts of uh, cooling. Also means I can deconstruct all of that. Drop that down there as well. Uh, okay, so we got that running. Uh, we got natural gas running. Uh, we still have an issue where I can't get steel. But now that we have uh, probably enough steel to kick things off and definitely more than enough power and our dupes that were stuck and now unstuck uh we should be good for next episode to get a lot more done i'm starting to think about an industrial brick a serious industrial brick um probably right here because this seems to be where our industry is already uh we will see i will need to do a lot of tidying up between episodes and also maybe look at shovels shovels sound like a good idea as well uh and our hatcheries, eight of eight, eight of eight, six of eight, eight of eight, zero, uh, zero and eight. Well, look, uh, zero rather. So, you know, hatcheries are getting there as well. Uh, obviously with nothing on the ground means auto sweepy, apart from that one tile and that one little bit of scrap. Uh, sweepy is doing his job. He is cleaning up after us. Uh, obviously I've done a wonderful job of almost sweeping up everything already. Uh, and yes, we have made a mess. And then hopefully, hopefully in the next episode, we can actually get some raw metal. Anyway, that's it. Ooh, massive episode, massive episode, but got a lot done. And that's the important thing with all that said. Uh, thank you guys for watching. Do hope you've enjoyed another episode of The Expendables with me, Jenny. And as always, say hi to your mum for me. All right, we're out. Bye.